Mystical is back in jail, and it seems like after more than two decades he hasn't reformed. The rapper has been accused yet again of a crime that he committed 20 years ago, and this time, the evidence could put him away for life. In July, he attacked this woman in her home, and now he faces a mandatory life sentence if convicted. It is sad that oh, this is a person third time. From recording himself sexually assaulting his victim to beating up another victim while high, this looks like Mystical's end. So how did he ruin his life? Let's find out. Mystical's tragic end. Mystical is facing life in prison after being indicted by a grand jury for first degree rape and more. So they said he could stay behind bars. That's right, for the remainder of his life, he was officially indicted on a charge of first degree rape and he faces a mandatory life sentence if he is convicted. In August 2022, radio stations and news coverage revolved around one of the legends of the late 90s and early 2000s rap era, Mystical, but it wasn't positive news. The rapper found himself in a position that he had been caught in, not once, but twice before. The New Orleans rapper now finds himself at the center of a disturbing sexual assault case that could see him spend the rest of his life in jail. The rapper's tragic end began on a fateful day at his Prairieville home on July 30th, 2022. On the fateful Saturday, the woman, who had reportedly been in a long-term relationship with Mystical, arrived at his home. The purpose of her visit was to discuss financial commitments that Mystical had made to her in the past. What started as a conversation about money quickly escalated into a nightmare. According to Sheriff's Detail Garrett Keith, who later testified in court, Mystical's demeanor changed dramatically after he went to the bathroom. He emerged with a sudden and intense anger, accusing the woman of stealing cash from him. This accusation marked the beginning of a terrifying ordeal for the victim. She said that he seemed fine when they were initially talking. At some point, he stepped away, maybe to the restroom. He came back a completely different person. Enraged, Mystical physically attacked her, pulling out her braids and confiscating her keys and cell phone, effectively trapping her inside his home. But this was only the beginning of the horrific and disturbing ordeal the victim was about to endure. The victim claimed that the rapper, allegedly high on drugs at the time, took the assault to a whole new level. In a bizarre twist, Mystical later apologized to the woman. He prayed with her, claiming that he needed to remove bad spirits from her. This act of contrition, however, was short-lived. The horror was far from over. Mystical then threw rubbing alcohol on the woman, claiming it was to cleanse her of these bad spirits. This act was not only strange, but also deeply disturbing. The woman, already traumatized by the physical assault, now faced an even more horrifying ordeal. According to the victim's testimony, Mystical then allegedly raped her. This heinous act added to the already extensive list of crimes he was accused of committing that night. The woman's ordeal was far from over, but she managed to escape and seek help. The woman managed to escape from Mystical's clutches and sought immediate medical attention attention at the Baton Rouge General Hospital. She sustained bruises and cuts, and some of her wounds were consistent with rape. It was at the hospital that she identified Mystical as her attacker, setting the wheels of justice in motion. Law enforcement officials from the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office responded swiftly. They arrived at Mystical's home the following Sunday and arrested him. The charges were severe. First-degree rape, simple robbery, domestic abuse, battery strangulation, false imprisonment, and simple criminal damage to property. The search of Mystical's home revealed even more troubling evidence. According to the press, law enforcement officials found meth, Xanax, heroin, weed, and drug paraphernalia. These findings led to five additional drug charges being filed against the rapper, further complicating his legal situation. Mystical was taken into custody, maintaining his innocence throughout the process. His arrest marked the beginning of a legal battle that would captivate the public and raise serious questions about his past and present behavior. The rapper appeared in court on Tuesday, shackled and defiant. His longtime defense attorney, Roy Maughan Jr., requested a $250,000 bail. However, Louisiana State District Judge Stephen Tarot refused to set any bond, citing the evidence against him, his criminal history, and the accuser's fears as reasons for holding him without bail. During the hour-long hearing, Sheriff's Detroitle Garrett Keith provided chilling testimony about the events that led to Mystical's arrest. He detailed the woman's visit to Mystical's home, the sudden change in his demeanor, and the brutal assault that followed. The evidence presented was compelling and painted a grim picture of the rapper's actions. Deputies found physical evidence at the scene, including the woman's braids, an earring, and a broken nail. These items corroborated the victim's account of the assault and added weight to the charges against Mystical. His attorney vehemently denied the allegations, calling them bogus. Mystical's defense claimed that the victim had asked him for $1,000, and when he refused, she threatened to accuse him of rape. Louisiana State District Judge Stephen Tarot decided to deny Mystical bond in his latest case. During the hearing, the judge cited the evidence against him, his criminal history, and the accuser's fears as reasons for holding him without bail. 
prevail. Mystical's longtime defense attorney, Roy Mullen Jr., expressed his disappointment with the judge's decision. He argued that there had never been any suggestion of domestic violence between Mystical and the victim, and he believed that Mystical posed no threat to her. Despite these arguments, the judge remained firm in his decision to deny bond. The potential consequences for Mystical are dire. First-degree rape alone carries a potential life sentence in prison. The gravity of the charges, coupled with his previous conviction, increases the likelihood of a severe punishment if he is found guilty. Mystical's future hangs in the balance as the legal proceedings unfold. Currently held without bond at Ascension Parish Jail, Mystical awaits his day in court. The weight of the evidence, the credibility of the alleged victim's testimony, and the skill of the legal teams on both sides will determine the outcome of this high-profile case. The eyes of the public are fixed on the courtroom waiting for justice to be served. In 2023, Mystical made a bold move in the case by filing a motion for a gag order. This request, put forth by his defense attorney, Tiffany Miles Crosby, sought to safeguard Mystical's privacy amidst an overwhelming amount of publicity surrounding the case. In the motion, Crosby emphasized the excessive amount of publicity that has surrounded Mystical's case in Ascension Parish, Louisiana. The rapper's legal team argued that the extensive media coverage could potentially taint the jury pool and compromise the fairness of the trial. By imposing a gag order, Mystical's defense aims to prevent attorneys from both sides, as well as potential witnesses and law enforcement officials, from making any comments to the media or any individual or entity. If approved, the gag order would effectively bar attorneys from discussing the case with media outlets such as radio, television, and newspapers. It would also extend its reach to encompass all potential witnesses and law enforcement officials who either will or might testify at the trial or possess information about the case. The objective is to create an environment where the legal proceedings can unfold without undue influence or bias from external sources. The New Orleans native was originally scheduled to go on trial in June 2023. However, his attorney reportedly requested a delay to the proceedings in order to put together a proper defense for her client. There hasn't been a new date set for the rapper's trial. However, with the evidence already available, as well as his previous notorious criminal background, it seems as though the rapper is already already cook. So what exactly has Mystical done in the past that puts him in such a bad position in his current case? Mystical's legal troubles. Mystical's legal issues date back to 2002, when he was still buzzing in the rap scene. In July 2002, the rapper found himself entangled in a web of allegations that would forever change his life. Mystical, along with two bodyguards, was charged with aggravated and extortion after a horrifying incident involving his former hairstylist. According to a copy of the arrest warrant, the woman visited Mystical's house on July 3rd to braid his hair. Afterwards, he confronted her about stealing a staggering $80,000 from the rapper's bank account. Mystical then told her to go to the bedroom and take her clothes off. He then proceeded to force her to perform oral sex on him, lest he turn her over to the cops. The warrant states that Mystical called his associates to come to his residence while he was engaged in oral sex with the victim. When they arrived, the rapper allegedly ordered Ellis to get his video camera and film him having sex with the woman. After the camera was turned off, Mystical allegedly sodomized her. The warrant claims that the camera was turned back on to film the woman having sex with both Carter and Ellis, after which she was ordered to leave. After the woman contacted authorities on July 4th, Police searched Mystical's apartment and detained a video camera and a safe. On July 9th, authorities opened the safe and found the videotape. The story took a strange turn. That same day, detectives were forwarded an affidavit signed by the victim from Mystical's attorney, Gary Harvey. In it, the woman stated that she had consensual intercourse with the three men. On July 10th, however, the woman met with detectives and said Harvey misled her to believe that the case had been jeopardized, therefore making her feel compelled to sign the affidavit. She said she was confused when she signed the affidavit and still wished to pursue the case. The charges against Mystical were severe as aggravated rape data. Carries a mandatory life sentence without probation in the state of Louisiana. As the case unfolded, Mystical's lawyer, J. David Borland, engaged in numerous meetings with the state prosecutor in an attempt to negotiate a plea deal. After careful deliberation, the charges were eventually reduced to sexual battery in exchange for Mystical's guilty plea. This decision marked a turning point in the legal battle as it allowed Mystical to avoid the possibility of facing a lifetime behind bars. However, the case took took an unexpected twist when Mystical's lawyer filed a motion to withdraw his client's guilty plea. The defense team had learned that the prosecution had provided Judge Anthony Marabella with the videotape of the sexual assault. This revelation led to a dispute between the defense and the prosecution. The defense believed that the tape would remain sealed and not be used as evidence in the case. The defense argued that there may have been a misunderstanding, as they were under the impression that the tape would be held confidential forever. Speaking to the press, Borland said, I cannot say in good faith the 
state deceived us, but there may have been a misunderstanding. They said they were not going to use the tape to increase the sentence, and we took that to mean the tape would be held confidential forever. The state did not bring the tape up to the judge. He asked to see the tape before sentencing. However, when Judge Marabella expressed his desire to view the tape before sentencing, the prosecution handed it over. This turn of events left Mystico's defense team in a difficult position as they contemplated the potential consequences of withdrawing the guilty plea. Ultimately, Mystico's defense team decided against withdrawing the guilty plea, fearing that the charges against their client would be escalated back to aggravated rape. The judge, who read Mystico's sentence with disdain, expressed his belief that the rapper considered himself above the law and capable of taking matters into his own hands. The judge made it clear that Mystico had received a significant break when the district attorney reduced the charges, emphasizing the role of the victim's agreement to lesser charges in securing the final sentence. The court is convinced that the defendant believes he is above the law and can take the law into his own hands. You received a significant break when the district attorney reduced the charges. If it weren't for the victim agreeing to lesser charges in exchange for a guilty plea, the sentence would have been the maximum 10 years, the judge said in court as he sentenced the rapper to six years behind bars. As part of his sentence, Mystical was required to register as a sex offender in the state of Louisiana. This registration would have long-lasting implications for his personal and professional life. It would restrict his ability to live in certain areas, limit his employment opportunities, and subject him to ongoing monitoring and reporting requirements. In addition to the registration as a sex offender, Mystical would also face five years of probation for the charge of extortion. This probation period came with a set of strict conditions that Mystical was forced to adhere to upon his release from prison. He was required to pay a monthly fee to the Department of Public Safety and Corrections, Division of Probation and Parole, to cover the costs of supervision. Mystical was also to remain employed, undergo substance abuse evaluation and treatment, stay alcohol and drug free, and submit to random urinalysis at his own expense. Furthermore, Mystical was prohibited from having any contact with the victim or her family. This no contact order aimed to ensure the victim's safety and prevent any potential harassment or intimidation. Violation of any of these probation terms could have resulted in Mystical being sent back to prison for up to 10 more years. Mystical's two bodyguards, Leland Pokey Ellis and Versi V. Carter, who were also involved in the assault, pleaded guilty to sexual battery. Ellis received a three-year prison sentence while Carter was sentenced to four years. It is important to note that Mystical's legal troubles extended beyond the criminal justice system. In order to prevent the victim from filing a civil suit against him, Mystical settled with her for around $300,000, which he borrowed from his label. This financial settlement, along with his guilty plea, is an attempt to make amends for the distress he caused. Unfortunately, his run-ins with the law would continue even with him behind bars. In August 2005, while incarcerated on the state sexual battery and extortion charges, Mystical was charged federally with two misdemeanor counts of failing to file tax returns for 1998 and 1999. On January 12, 2006, he was convicted in federal court of the tax offenses, but was allowed to serve the one-year federal sentence concurrent with his six-year state sentence. Mystical was incarcerated at Louisiana's Elaine Hunt Correctional Center. On January 19, 2006, Mystical was denied parole at a parole board hearing. On January 11, 2007, Mystical was released from custody on the federal misdemeanor tax convictions as his one-year sentence had expired, but he remained in custody on the six-year sentence for the Louisiana state felony convictions. Although he was released January 14, 2010, he couldn't stay out of trouble as he was back behind bars for a probation violation. After signing a new deal with Cash Money Records for his highly anticipated album Original, Mystical's plans were abruptly halted due to a probation violation. The 41-year-old artist was sentenced to three months in jail. This was a devastating blow to Mystical's career as he was poised to make a triumphant return to the music scene. He was arrested and charged with a misdemeanor for domestic abuse battery, a violation of his five-year probation. This probation stemmed from previous charges of sexual battery and extortion that had led to his imprisonment from 2004 to 2010. The Louisiana State District Judge Tony Marabella wasted no time in delivering his verdict. Mystical was sentenced to three months in jail for his probation violation. This news sent shockwaves through the music industry and left fans wondering what would become of the highly anticipated album, Original. However, amidst the chaos, Cash Money CEO Birdman stepped forward to address the situation. In a statement to MTV News, Birdman's spokesperson confirmed that the label would continue to support Mystical's career, emphasizing that the arrest would not affect their relationship. This unwavering support from Cash Money Records offered a glimmer of hope for Mystical's future. He began serving his sentence on May 14th at the East Baton Rouge Parish Jail. During his incarceration, he appeared in court to be heard on the domestic battery charges, as well as for a hearing to determine child support payments for his two youngest children. The rapper was eventually released from jail in August 2012. However, he would soon find himself in yet another legal battle. Mystical has now been in 
indicted, and that is for charges of rape and kidnapping. Come on now, Mr. Cool. That's your second one in your life, bro. His bond is set at $3 million. On the night of October 22, 2016, a horrifying incident unfolded in downtown Shreveport that would later lead to the arrest of two individuals. Mystical and his associate Averwaylon Holman were charged with one count of first-degree rape each in connection to this shocking event. According to reports, a woman was subjected to a heinous act of sexual assault on that fateful night. As the investigation progressed, the police obtained warrants for their arrest, charging them with first-degree rape. The gravity of the charges couldn't be understated, as first-degree rape is a serious offense that carries severe legal consequences. Mystical has turned himself in yesterday. There was an arrest warrant out for him from last week, and they finally got him to turn himself in, and he has been arrested and booked for first-degree rape. In a surprising turn of events, Mystical, aware of the warrant for his arrest, made the decision to surrender himself to the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Department. This act of surrender demonstrated a willingness to face the allegations head on, although Mystical's camp denied the charges, claiming that they were fabricated. Mystical pleaded not guilty and put his fate in the hands of the justice system. While Mystical turned himself in, Aver We Won Holman's arrest was carried out by the U.S. Marshals in Killeen, Texas. The search for Holman came to an end on August 18th, when he was apprehended and taken into custody. As the legal proceedings unfolded, the evidence seemed to be stacked against Mystical. The alleged victim claimed that she had been sexually assaulted by him during their time at the Louisiana Casino. The details of the incident incident were disturbing, and the case garnered widespread attention. However, in a shocking turn of events, the charges against Mystical were ultimately dismissed due to a lack of evidence. The Caddo Parish Grand Jury, after careful consideration, decided to drop the charges against the rapper. This decision came as a surprise to many, as the initial allegations had seemed substantial. The district attorney's office released a statement explaining that additional evidence and information had come to light, leading to the case being resubmitted to a second grand jury. The pursuit of justice and the interest of fairness were at the forefront of their decision-making process. Based on the grand jury's decision, the charges pending against Mystical were dismissed. While all the rapper's legal issues keep on piling up, there's speculation that his actions are rooted in a traumatic incident that took place early on in his career. Mystical's turbulent career and early trauma. In the early 1990s, Mystical signed with Big Boy Records and released his debut album, Mystical Madness. Although the album didn't achieve mainstream success, it showcased his raw talent and distinctive style, setting the stage for what was to come. During this period, Mystical also found himself embroiled in conflicts with other New Orleans rappers signed to rivals Cash Money Records. These feuds added fuel to the fire of his determination, driving him to prove himself as a force to be reckoned with in the rap game. Mystical's career took a monumental turn when he signed with Master P legendary label, No Limit Records. Under the guidance of Master P, Mystical's talent flourished, and he quickly became one of the label's most prominent artists. However, as his career was taking off, his life was rocked by a tragic incident. In 1994, Michelle Tyler, Mystical's sister's life was cut short, leaving the rapper and his family shattered. The aftermath of Michelle's murder was a scene of devastation and despair. Mystical, who had been away at the time, returned home to find his sister's lifeless body. The sight was enough to shatter his world and leave an indelible mark on his soul. I found her. Thank God it was me and not my little brother, not my mom or somebody like that, said the rapper. I found my sister in her bed dead with a mystical promotion t-shirt on saying, I'm not that on it. Man, on my birthday, she had just signed with Big Boy Records too. She was signed as an R&B act and I was signed as a rapper. Her boyfriend, Damian Neville, grandson of one of the famed Neville brothers, was arrested and charged for the crime. However, at trial, Neville was found not guilty. Interestingly, Mystical revealed that Damian Neville had actually confessed to the murder. This was even captured by news outlets Damian Neville, 22, confessed in the slaying early Thursday of Michelle Tyler, 29, but somehow Neville went scot-free. Mystical had even planned to put his life on the line and avenge his sister's death. However, his mom stopped him at the last minute. Neville actually confessed also, said Mr. Kyle, and took all that back. His family had a lot of influence and we were nobodies at that time, so he wound up getting off of it. I said, that's all right. There's more than one way to skin a cat. My mom, the day I was about to hit that asterisk kick in door and do something and never make it back home, my mom, she must have seen it in my eyes. She caught the rapper before he made a mistake that could have changed the course of his life and told him to choose a different option. In an interview, Damian Neville denied that he was responsible for Tyler's death and claimed that the confession came after police allegedly beat him. I was found not guilty. They didn't have no evidence. They didn't have nothing on me because I wasn't even home, said Neville. People saw me and other people knew I wasn't there. Even the brother Mystical came downstairs and said I wasn't there. The pain 
and anguish he felt were immeasurable, and the questions surrounding his sister's death would haunt him for years to come. Music became Mystical's refuge, his solace in the face of unimaginable tragedy. He poured his heart and soul into his art as his true calling remained in music. In 2000, Mystical released his fourth studio album, Let's Get Ready, which catapulted him to new heights of fame. The album debuted at the top of the Billboard 200 chart, solidifying Mystical's status as a rising star in the music industry. It showcased his versatility as an artist, blending his signature raspy vocals with infectious beats and captivating storytelling. Two of the standout tracks from Let's Get Ready were Shake Your Ass and Danger Been So Long. These hit singles became instant classics and dominated the airwaves. Shake Your Ass became an anthem with its catchy chorus and energetic production, while Danger Been So Long showcased Mystical's lyrical prowess and his ability to command attention with his dynamic delivery. The success of these hit singles propelled Mystical into the mainstream spotlight, earning him widespread recognition and a dedicated fan base. His unique style and electrifying performances captivated audiences, making him a force to be reckoned with in the rap scene. Unfortunately, Mystical's career never took off after his numerous legal cases, and even after being signed by Birdman, it never really worked out as he ended up leaving Cash Money Records. His latest sexual assault case may prove to be his undoing, as he may spend the rest of his life behind bars. We can only wait and see how his case unfolds. If you enjoyed this video, click on the boxes playing on your screen to watch similar content.